Appreciate y'all sliding through tonight, man. Best podcast in the Carolinas with ease. All right. Take one more sip. Maybe a few more sips. All right. Tap in, tap in. This is Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag, C11 Studios. Got special guest in the building tonight. Two six song, one time for Miss Deanna. Right, come on with it. Yeah. <laughs> let's get it, let's get it. All right. Deanna, let us know where you're from and what area code you're repping. Uh, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I'm most definitely repping 910. Okay, 910 in the building. Two okay. Six, two six. Uh-huh. All right, all right. 2-6 in the building. Um, anybody you want to give a shout out to before we get started? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty typical, but I really want to shout out my mom's because I really wouldn't be making music if it wasn't for her. Hey, okay. She was my first inspiration. She was an artist herself. Yeah. I remember being a little kid, going to the studio with her, mm-hmm. and that was just always really beautiful to watch. That's I good. I love creating, and I love sound, so that's good. shout out my mom. All right. <laughs> hey, shout out to Mama Dukes, man. Hey, what month was you born in? August. Okay. Okay. Your yeah. birthday just passed. Yes, it did. Leo season. That's it's it. Every season. That's it. That's, what, that, that's what's happening. <laughs> She's also my mom is also a Leo. We're seven days apart. Wow. I was actually supposed to be born on her birthday. She said, "Fuck no." That's amazing. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now tell us how was it growing up in Fayetteville? Um. Huh. Well, for me, it was very sheltered. Okay. I grew up an only child. Um, I'm the only girl. Mm. I'm the first girl. Okay. So my family was very protective of me. I didn't really get to go out like that. Okay. I didn't really have friends like that. Mm. I pretty much stayed in the house. Like, nice. A lot. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was in, I used to move around a lot because my mom was a teacher, so Mm. uh, when I was born, of course I was born in Fayetteville, but then we moved to Kannapolis, then from Kannapolis we went to Burlington, from Burlington to Greensboro, and then back to Fayetteville. I was at Morganton Road from first through fourth grade, then my mom got married to a guy in the military, we moved overseas for two years, stayed at RAF Alkenberry, um, and then came back to Fayetteville. I went to Ann Chestnut, Northwood Temple. I remember Ann Chestnut. That was on base. Ann Sucker Nut is what it should yeah. be called. Yeah, yeah my dad was in the military too, so I was uh, in and I, I first stayed off post. Really? And yeah. And then moved same. on post. Mm-hmm. Because uh, definitely was getting in a lot of trouble in Fayetteville. Really? Oh, yeah. I was bad, bro. Look, man. I was, bad. I was too afraid. I didn't listen to my mom. I ain't never sneak out. Yeah. I never did. I didn't go to parties. I didn't yeah. do none of that. Like yeah. I was, my mom drilled into me that I was gonna get kidnapped, and I trusted that. <laughs> well, well, not only that, but just guys is crazy. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, and and probably at the time you was coming up, you was real, you know, young and yeah. you know, a very, you know, like you said, sheltered. Oh yeah. And guys take advantage of that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, guys do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you so, know, that shit. If I had been out more, God knows what would have happened. But that's I, right. I trust. I trust intuition. That's and right. I trust my mother's guidance because she ain't never told me nothing like that's right. crazy. That's right. Everything she told me was from a place of love and protection. So. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, how long have you been making music? I have been making music since I was 15. 
Mm -hmm. I actually started making music because of a guy I had a crush on. <laughs> so okay. I used to write poetry before I started writing music. Very good. And I wrote free verse, so none of my shit rhymed. Mm. And when I started talking to him, he was like the first guy I ever really got to like talk to like that because I wasn't even allowed to text boys. I didn't have guy friends. Yeah. I mean, I did, but I didn't get to develop deep relationships with them because I could only talk to them at school. Yep. Um, but I decided to step out on a limb and sneak and text this guy. Okay. And um, I shared with him my poetry. He also wrote poetry, and he actually challenged me. Shout out to Sakima Young. Okay. okay. I'm going to say his name. There you go. Uh, shout out to Sakima Young because he really encouraged me to start rhyming. Mm -hmm. And um, he would, like, challenge me to, like, just write poems that rhyme. And then he was like, okay, add, like, a melody to mm -hmm. it. So I want to say consistently, I've been writing music since I was 15. Okay, come on, man. One time, Miss D. That's very good. Very good. That's what they're saying. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Now, who inspired you growing up? Um, musically or in general? Just in general. Um, it's probably going to sound super cliche. Uh, well, I got to say two people. Okay. Uh, Beyonce for one and uh, Kiki Palmer. Wow. Actually, Kiki Palmer was the first girl outside. I mean, we could also throw Raven Simone in there. Yeah. But Kiki Palmer, for me, was really big because she looked like me. Oh, okay. Both dark skinned girls. Okay. Um, first time I really ever saw her was in Beauty Shop. And then I saw her again in Aquila and the Bee. And at the time, I was really obsessed with spelling. I That's love right. words. I love expanding my vocabulary. That's right. And seeing someone like her on the screen, it gave me the courage and the gumption. To yeah. get into the acting industry. That's right. You know, just putting myself out there and believing that there's space for me. Now, know? what can you say has changed as far as music in the past 20 years? You mentioned all these, as far as female music. Um, I feel like women are getting more comfortable yeah. with speaking their minds. Okay. And not being afraid of how somebody else is going to interpret their yeah. opinions, their thoughts. Um, I feel like we hear a lot that, um, especially when it comes to, like, most of my most of my favorite artists are women. Okay. I don't know if that's a biased thing because I am a girl. But, no, 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 absolutely um, not. Sorry. I notice between the female singers that I listen to and then the, the female rappers that I listen to, what I really love is their transparency, yeah. their rawness in their music. That's it's right. like... It's very expansive, the kind of topics that they speak on in comparison to their male counterparts. Yeah. And I feel as though what's really changed in the industry, just in regards to women in music, is confidence. Good, very Not good. Not being afraid of saying how we really feel and what we want, just like these men do. Yeah, a lot know? more women coming up to absolutely, the platform. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And we need that. Yeah. I mean, shit. If I had um, an artist to look up to, like Flo Millie in seventh grade, niggas would have never bullied me. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I had had an artist like Rico Nasty to yeah. listen to in middle school, I would have been so much more confident yeah. in my womanhood and That's my right. blackness That's right. than I think you know I did back then. Mm. Like truthfully, I didn't really relate to a lot of female rappers back then. Like I wasn't really listening to Lil Kim. Okay. Or um, Foxy Brown. Or yeah. I I used to because I grew up so sheltered and conservative. Yeah. I didn't really listen to really explicit stuff because it was like, oh, this is like this is a lot. Wow. But as I got older and I started breaking away from how I was raised and kind of like uh, unlearning toxic and just really. Uh, breaking the mold. Yeah. 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 I felt like I found this freedom. There you in go. Music through these brash women artists. That's and right. It just made me feel like, wow, I can really say what I want. How do you feel about that song I was playing earlier, the female Sizzy? I'm a hood bitch, hit the block with the guys. Now, I will say, I will uh, say, oh, well, I've been listening to some of these girls and just yeah. living through, vicariously through them because I am not no hood girl. <laughs> I ain't going to fake the phone. I am not. I'm from the burbs. Okay? Yeah. Okay. But Stand listen. Stand in your truth. Uh, okay, and I will. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you can mm -hmm. look at me and tell I'm not from the It's okay. Right it's all good. We, but yeah. I be comfy. Okay? Don't nobody yeah. be looking at me crazy when I'm there. Right. There you go. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Tap on Annie Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tap in, man. Best podcast in the Carolinas, North and South. Miss Deanna is in the building. 
Uh, who's some artists that you grew up listening to? Just name some uh, people again. Diane Reeves, uh, Whitney Houston, Esperanza mm. Spalding, um, Leon LaHavas, Prince, there you Michael, go. Uh, the Gershwin Brothers, uh, Billie yeah. Holiday. Yeah, I listen music. to a lot of jazz. It's actually my favorite genre, specifically big band. Very good. Yeah. All right. You heard it here first, man. She's an old soul. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I've been here before. <laughs> All right. Tell the viewers and the fans what goes into being an artist today in 2022. Uh, dedication. Mm-hmm. Um, patience. What goes into being an artist? Understanding uh, who you are as a person. Before you can identify who you are as an artist, you have to know who you are as a person. Yeah. That flavors everything. I love, I well, I don't love hearing this argument, but I hear a lot about the separation of artist and person, and I personally don't think that that's a thing. Okay. I don't think you can really separate an artist from a person because that's to say that the person isn't the artist. Mm. Or the artist isn't the person. Like, I used to go by the Alter London, right? Okay. Um, because I used to feel like Deanna's too shy. Deanna gets nervous in front of people. Um, so I used London as an escape to not be so afraid. But then I okay. realized, you know what? London is just a side of Deanna. We mm. are all one. So, <clears throat> I like that. As an artist, I feel like what really is important is trusting who you are. That's right. Because people are going to try and tell you who they think you are, who you could be. Yeah. And all of that shit is cute. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's down to what you see yourself. That's it. Being. And especially with deciding to be an artist like are you going to be an artist for fun or are you going to be an artist that is trying to make a living mm. and if you're going to be trying to make a living you can't play about yeah. this this That's is right. not a game mm -hmm. this is life this is really everything for a lot of people it's a ticket out of places yep so money you, ticket okay if you want to be an artist in 2022 you got to have that drive yep That's you it. have to have that persistence to continue working on your craft in spite of the attention that you're getting. Because mm. it's going to come. And I think sometimes people get wrapped up in, oh, people aren't listening to me. I don't have all the streams. I don't have all the followers. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't let that, you know, knock you down. Like, everything happens when it's supposed to. That's right. And That's sometimes right. you're not even ready Divine for timing. that. Absolutely. Come on, Absolutely. man. Come on, man. I feel like I know you, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you heard it here first, man. What's some hobbies you do outside of music? Oh, some hobbies I do. I like to bake. Oh, okay. Um, I like to come up with new hair colors. Wow, I, I see. I like love doing that. I love coming up with new colors. That's there you really go. fun. There you go. Um, what else? I like to watch movies a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge film fanatic. Got some questions about that later. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. What else do I like to do? I like to sleep. <laughs> I definitely think I was a cat in a former life because mm -hmm. give me a sunbeam and I will lay in that house. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and pass the fuck out. <laughs> tap in, tap in. Yeah. I like, oh, I also am a YouTuber, so I like making movies, uh, like videos. Seen that. Yeah. Saying that. Yeah. I, I write short films. I write wow. screenplays. Oh, yeah. I uh, When I graduated high school, I submitted to NYU. Same year, Malia Obama. Okay. It's not shade. It's not smoke, but I got beef with her. Oh. Uh, okay. She applied to my favorite school and then didn't even go. So they padded that whole school with, like, young black celebrities. And it was like, fuck you, normal people. Ew. And I wanted to go so bad. I made a whole short film. It was really fire. Hey, that's but good. That's good. Yeah, I love. I just like creating. I like making things. You're a creator. Oh yeah, yeah I'm a full time creator. Full -time. And not only that, you you doing music and you doing the YouTube and you get you you understand that you got to have multiple eggs in your basket. I do. Yeah. I am a jack of all trades. That's right. It, that's the, everybody be like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, the question is, what don't I do? That's right. I'm a photographer. I'm a videographer. I'm a model. I'm an actress. I cook. Yep. I clean houses. I make wigs. I yeah. cut hair. Like. Yeah. What do you need, baby. That's right. Like, that's right. There you, you go, know? man. There you go. That's <laughs> all right. Boy. That's all right. Very good. Very good. Okay. What can you say is the main thing that's changed in Fayetteville since you grew up there in the time that you came back? 
Hmm. Um. I would say a lot of our neighborhoods. Mm. I feel like they're blocking off some of these low-income homes mm. and doing it real quietly. Gentrification. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They're edging people out. Yeah. Especially if you go, if you heading downtown. Yeah. And you see how they did that highway. There was a lot of people over there that they had to relocate, and it is really sad. To yeah. See. Um. Even with a lot of the businesses that we had. Mm. Uh, shoot, if y'all remember what Market Fair used to look like. Yeah. yeah. That seeing how I look yeah. now is just mind boggling to me. There used to be a flea market in there. You know? I remember going to the flea market when I was young. Okay. Bought my first uh J. Cole mixtape from the flea look, market. Right across look. from that Chuck E. Cheese over there. Yeah, history. <laughs> history. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap in, man. I feel like that's the hugest thing. It's like we're expanding mm-hmm. but not as quickly as I think we should have been by now. I yeah. Mean, shoot, we were supposed to, we were supposed to get that Dave and Buster's. I feel like that really would have did something. But oh, they never put the Dave and Buster's there. Niggas is scary because we rioted. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's just, it's just a little riot. It's, yeah. It's okay. Now, what's the main what well what's some good advice you can give to anybody coming up behind you that's uh, want to be a photographer, want to be a, a, a artist, uh, Study or do you too? Yeah. Study the people that came before you. Mm-hmm. I mean, shoot, that's what I do. Especially speaking to earlier when you asked about one of my biggest inspirations, I study Beyonce like it's like do or yeah. die. That's okay. right. I you if you want to get better in a certain craft, no matter what it is, yes, you need to go look at prior examples. You don't gotta yeah. jock their style, but you need to learn the craft. Mm-hmm. You know, music is a craft, photography is a craft. Like yeah, I it collect is. cameras. So I have, yeah, I have like four, no, three film cameras, a Canon, a Konica, and Mm -hmm. a Sony. Um, And then I have three different Canons. Um, I think it's really important to understand different techniques depending Uh, on the kind of camera that you're using. mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to film. There is a whole art to to taking pictures on film. That's a, yeah, you absolutely. You have to understand that instead of just picking it up and just shooting. Like, yeah, study, take time, and just study. That's right. That's for sure. That's definitely for sure. Um, and have Ms. fun. Don't forget that. And like, have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes people get too serious mm. about what they're doing because yeah. they want to be the best. They want to be perfectionist, and that's. Me talking. I am such a perfectionist yeah. about everything, but I have to remind myself, like, why are you doing this? That's right. Are you doing this for validation from others? Or are you doing this because you really enjoy it? And if That's you really right. enjoy it, you have to prioritize having fun with it at the same time. That's right. That's right. All right. Hey, Deanna, speaking uh, facts, uh, you heard it first. How long do you want to make music? Until I stop breathing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I okay. see no point in stopping. I mean, unless I just lose my voice at, like, 85. Yeah. Even then, I'm gonna still be on that hole with the auto like, hey, But do you want to make music? <laughs> do you want to make music and kind of expand and and maybe get to a point where maybe I can sign other artists? Or... Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm always looking for artists. There you go. Like, there you even go. Even as an artist, I'd be putting other people on before me, which is probably a problem. There you but go. But when I hear talent, I'm just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why aren't you out there? Yeah. You know. Yep. I would love to get to the point where I'm like making scores. For movies like Tyler the Creator, like he did The Grinch. Yeah, that was so dope. Okay, like, that's really really cool. Creativity, you know. Yeah, that's absolute. Name some artists in Fayetteville you listen to besides yourself. Malcolm Chester. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, Malcolm I love Chester. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah, yeah. that dude. He's so far. I gotta say, City right here. Shouts out to Malcolm. Shouts out uh, to City. I gotta say, William Prize. Oh man, we done had him in here, man. I love Come Prize. On. That's my dude, bro. Yeah. Lizzie Yayo. Yep. Yep. Nisi. Oh mm-hmm. man, mad props to Nisi. Yep. Scoop. Shoot! Oh my God, that's my brother. Yep. That's 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 my best friend's man. Yep. You know, gotta give props to him. That's it. Um, hell yeah, hell yeah. There's so many really talented artists in Fayetteville. Yeah. And I, I love seeing how many of us are really pushing to get our sound out. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. And I was going to Rob Earth One. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Keep going. Rob, Rob's amazing. 
Rob is that nigga. You know what's crazy is uh, when we was coming up, you didn't see all of this happening. You see what I'm saying? It was only a limited amount of artists, and that's just people you heard on the radio station. Right, right. Now with technology and the internet, you got so much talent coming out. It's The insane. Carolinas, it's crazy. Yeah. So, hey, uh, you heard and it honestly, here first. I, because of how I grew up, I didn't even really know how big the music scene was here in Fayetteville until, yeah. like, last year. Wow. I, um, I was introduced to uh, Vader. Yeah, 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 James Vader. Yeah, the one who runs Views, uh, Views by the Bill. Yeah. Um, she took me on as an artist. And uh, she Shakira. Ended, yeah. Yeah. Shakira and Baby G. Shout out to them. There you go. The there you go. Show. They are so amazing. And yeah. I'm so grateful to them for yep. even bringing me around because I got to meet so many incredible people that I just had no idea were yeah. like out here like that. Like, it's, it's enlightenment. Oh, yeah. yeah Hijack, man. too. What an incredible producer. Yep. Yep. What an incredible producer. Hey, man, you heard it here first from Deanna, man. Shouts out to the whole camp, the fam, uh, 2-6. Uh, tap in, man. Absolutely. Oh, and hey, let me say ETA the 8. Okay. That's also my big bro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's what it is. I forgot the other dude you was with, too. Start Raph? with a P. It, it might be him. Yeah, K-Rav. K-Rav. Yeah, 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 all right, all right, Deanna. What does the uh, city of Fayetteville mean to you? What does the city of Fayetteville mean to me? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I feel like the city of Fayetteville to me means comfort. Yeah. It's very comfy. Yeah. In Fayetteville. Yeah. Um, it's very easy. Don't get too comfortable now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think a lot of people get stuck in Fayetteville because of how comfortable it is. Yes. Which is why I push so hard to be gone. You got to and venture no out. And there's no shade to the Ville, but I nah, just not know at all. this is not where I want to be long term. That's right. It's not the end all be all. No. Yeah. There's so much here. And I will say that I think sometimes we discredit how much potential and opportunity there is here in Fayetteville. There you go. And at the same time, there's only so far you can go. That's right. In the city. There's only so much you can do. Yeah. Um, and the main reason I say that is because I notice a lot of people in Fayetteville just in this past year of being aware of the music scene. Got I got that Dreamville like, behind you right there. Exactly. Come on now. There's a lot of competition out mm -hmm. here. Unnecessary competition. Yeah. And because people get so comfy, mm. in my opinion, when they start noticing somebody elevating, yes, it's like this immediate try to grab them down yes. or try and meet them where they're at, but also push them out the way. Oh, and that gosh. kind of energy to me it's is toxic. so it's so toxic and yeah. it's ridiculous because there's enough room at the table for all mm -hmm, of us. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like if we were able to come together more mm -hmm. and put each other on mm -hmm. more, like together as a unit, yes, it would be a different kind of vibe. That's right. Like, truthfully. That's it. That's it, man. All right. Tap in. Tap in. Um, let me ask you this. What's the biggest thing you can take away from life itself? Uh, we know absolutely nothing. <laughs> it is absolutely I like okay. I like that. I, I that is that is like I feel like every year, every day, honestly, yeah, I'm learning more and more about how I don't know shit, and mm. instead of it being a scary thing or like a dang, why don't I know this? It's just like a humbling experience. Like, man, you still have stuff to learn. Wow, you still have more room to grow, and that makes me excited. That's right. I feel like the minute you feel like you have nothing left to learn, you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Yep. You're stuck in the mud. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes, especially being a young person, being 25, there's mad pressure, I feel. Especially being the firstborn girl, the only girl. There's a lot of pressure to have my shit together. Yes. There's a lot of pressure to, why aren't you married? Why don't you have a Oh, boyfriend? don't worry about all that. Live your life. Oh, I'm not. But right. it's, it's, you know, like a generational thing. It's a culture thing. Yeah. Um, it's a, oh, you still live with your parents? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to be right. Yeah, <laughs> like, who cares? You know, cares? like, who cares? There's so much time for all of that to come together. That's right. And there's so much pressure from social media, from mm -hmm. our friends, from our family to be somewhere. Yeah. Instead of just be. 
Instead of just being. Just be. Yep. You know, let things come. Let it be organic. Yeah. You know, I feel like my purpose in life is to experience what it's like to be a human. I know that sounds crazy because I'm a human. Yeah. But I feel like I'm going through life really understanding more and more about human interaction. Mm. And You're a it, spiritual woman. Very much so. Yes, you I are. I feel like I... I go through life, I find myself in situations that are less than pleasant, mm. and I'm learning more about different perspectives I can have when dealing with other humans. It challenges mm. my ability to communicate with others. That's right. And it gives me the space to extend grace. Yes, yes. Because we yes. need that. Can you, you give it yourself? All right, mm-hmm. Deanna, all right. Can you give it yourself? Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. That's good. It, I mean, mm-hmm. it's, healing is not linear. Yes, just you true. know, healing mm-hmm. is not something that like, oh, the finish line is going to be in three years. Like, yeah. you're always going to be experiencing something in life that you're going to have to heal from because that's just the world. Yep. You know, whether it's something that happens to you directly or indirectly, yep. we get traumatized on a moment to moment basis, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And rather than sitting in that like, dang, shit is fucked up feeling, mm-hmm. you can look at it more so like, wow. Every day it's going to be something. What am I going to do about that? Mm. Am I going to sit here in this energy and be upset? Mm. Or am I going to understand that I can disconnect from that and mm. just be right, right where I am? That's it. That's it, man. I'll tell you what. She's older than 25. <laughs> Deanna, man. Two, six, tap in, man. All right. All right. Old soul. I told you. <laughs> okay. Favorite uh, TV show uh, today in 2022? Favorite? Yep. I gotta say because I just keep always rewatching it. Amazing, uh, uh, the Amazing World of Gumball. Wow, I'm I never waiting heard of that. on the new season. Like I never desperately, heard of that. it's such a funny cartoon. Oh, on Cartoon yeah. Network. Okay. I'm a huge, <laughs> I'm a huge child. I love cartoons. So like okay. Over the Garden Wall, Adventure Time, Chowder, Good. SpongeBob. Yeah. Um, I started getting into anime oh. a couple years ago, so shh, I'm ready for this final season of Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you know what's good about nowadays is they put everything on Netflix and Hulu, all the old shows that we don't watch no more, Rocket Power. Oh, my God. Uh, Yo, I almost Tom lost my Jerry, shit in it. All that shit, dog. Yeah, dog. All that shit, man. Tap in. Yeah. yeah go and get your smoke. Look, you know what? I'm going to need yeah. to bring back man. As Told by Ginger because yeah. I don't think that show got enough. Uh, oh, also Told by Ginger. As Told by Ginger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. 16. My yes. life is a teenage robot. Yes. Come, yes. On. Yeah, Come, on yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Teenage robot with a banger. Hey, that's it. That's it, man. Favorite artist on your playlist right now? Flo. Ooh, Flo. Oh, really? No. Though I do love her. Oh. Flo is this uh, girl group from the UK. They oh, are amazing. Oh. UK is on the rise. Amazing. You miss wow. that 90s R&B girl group sound? Yeah. Oh, they body. Body. Yep. Hey, that's it. That's it. Tap in. Tap in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Favorite place to eat? Bojangles. <laughs> it's always both times. It's always both times. I swear to God, they need they to make me a spokesperson, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I miss uh, being in Fayetteville, going to Sandpipers every weekend. Wow. Sandpipers. You know what? I also got to shout out Flavors. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all ever been to Flavors on Valley okay. Road. Okay. It's a family-owned spot. Wow. Boy, they widen be busting. What's it? New new spot? I think it's been there about a couple of years. Wow, never heard of it. That's good. Very good. Okay. Maybe like check. um like karaoke night and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I had to check that out, man. Look, Come on they, now. they call it. <sighs> Might have to give uptown some rumping money. <laughs> That's what it do, man. Favorite place you want to visit in the future? Wow, Milan. Mm. Milan. I never heard anybody say that. Uh, yeah, it's the fashion capital of the world. I model, so Ooh. I need me some Italian shoes. There you go. There you go. I just, I know someday I'm going to walk during Milan Fashion Week. So there you go. Got to. That's it. That's it, man. Stay tapped in, man. All right. Two six in the building. Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag Deanna. Uh, what's, uh, who you do this for every day you wake up? Who do I do this for? Yeah, every day you wake up. Um, I would love to say myself. 
Mm. But I probably have to say my mom. Mm. I do. I want to say that I wake up for myself, but a lot of times, not to get really sad or whatever, but mm-hmm. a lot of times I don't really care. Yeah. A lot yeah. of times I'll be waking up, I'll be like, yeah, I'm sick of this shit. Yeah. I'm really sick of it. Mm-hmm. But my mom, my little sister, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. shout out her day and Nicole. That's my baby. Yep. Um, If it weren't for them, my grandparents, That's right. it'd be really hard to keep pushing. That's but right. I know that I'm here for a reason. Yep. Um, purpose. Purpose. Mm-hmm. Truthfully. So no matter how hard it gets, I always find a way to regroup and center myself and remind myself I'm not always just doing it for me. That's it. That's it. All right. You heard it here first. Two, six on. Uh, let us know where we can find you at on all platforms. You can find me on Instagram at It's Deanna Elise. Yep. I-T-S D-E-E. A N N A A L Y S E. I know that's a long name, but if y'all can say Bjork, y'all can say Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You heard it here first. Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag. Two six on Miss Deanna. Let's get it. Good. Very good. Thank you.